Hello guys and welcome to this uh, third episode now of the In Hindsight Ranked Edition. This time playing the Savannahs, the series where we do like we did in the Hindsight, we go over everything, explain our play, but we do it all the guards that I think are viable in the support role. So it's not a guard guide, but it's really just um, just so you get something to watch, you know, just so you get to see how does a pro player play Savannahs in a normal rank game. Uh, of course, there's going to be a lot of mistakes, and there's going to be a lot of really, really good plays that you wouldn't see in competitive uh, games. Because I'm going to test my limits, I'm going to test my borders, and on this game, I'm going to do some really stupid things. Also, going to make some really hot plays, uh, including the first blood as well. I believe we have we have a really sick uh, pull. Uh, there's a lot of missed abilities in this game, though. This, this was uh, played really, really late night, super tired. That's not an excuse, though. But it, I think it it was a really good game to show, because. It shows like a lot of common mistakes you make uh, right here. Yeah, but we're playing Savannah's. We're getting the usual start, we're getting watchers, uh, boots, one, four health and thingy. Now so many people ask me, why don't you get four mana pots? Well, the heal does not do that much anymore. Like you get mana sustained so well from watcher's gift. So I just like this start, because I really like boxing as well. So what you're going to see me do right here is I, you want to start with a one on Savannah's, a little one. Uh, but I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna root the minions. Now when I root the minions, this is gonna make sure the minions stack up. So when the minions are stacked up, I can get all the minions. You can see this wave like insta-cleared. And I can't really do anything. So we have two options right here, you can try and go for a kill, or you can go for the buffs. We're gonna hit and go for the buffs though, realizing that we have such a big um, uh, advantage. Sorry, I know some guys are gonna get OCD over this. I'm gonna change this really fast. That was pretty bad. Actually, it is like that. Uh, as we see, Mr. Image, we're gonna go ahead and invade the red buff right here. As I quickly fix this, I'm so sorry that I did not do this before. I think it's fine now. Yes, it is. Okay, so go back to lane. We got the red buff. Sorry about that. We took the two small of parable, just like in the the previous game. Um, the, 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 well, so who do you play? That was the Fafnir game, right? Yeah, it was the Fafnir game. So you see, right here, I'm gonna go for the Sol. I'm gonna know exactly when her thingy is gonna go out. Then root her. If she, I wouldn't have rooted her there. Maybe we wouldn't have been able to kill her because she could have been too far out. But no, exactly when her disapparate is gonna end. So no, exactly when to pull her, and we're gonna end up getting the pull. So right now we're just so far ahead that we're here that we can go ahead and go for the parallel as well. Just removing all of that jungle works out so good for us this game. And get you so far ahead. So just wanted to want to do to punish the enemy team. Uh, even gonna go ahead and call to go for the the, the Orios here, the fire uh, oracles. Just realizing that it's gonna work out so well for us uh, to do this because we're not gonna lose anything of the wave at all. Like you guys can see, we're not gonna lose anything, we're just gonna secure more farm. So it works out really well for us. So we go in right here. I think Ulam or Medusa might have lost one min, but that doesn't matter at all. Just removing neutral farm is something you really wanna get good, get good at doing. So right here, we're gonna go in. Uh, go on, lead, lead the red buff here. I think I'm actually my main goal right here is just to heal the cell up a bit. I realized she's put my smash though, so that's probably what's needed. Um, help there. You can see how we all actually have buffs right now. This looks pretty cool. Uh, we get two ults, Medusa, Savannah's ult right now. So we should really be looking for the cell. So I'm gonna go so ham for the cell here. Yeah, I know she has no Aegis, so I'm just gonna go super hard for her. She should just die here no matter what. Um, I have my ult, I have my pull. I'm probably gonna look for the root here. Just wait for the slow, then we'll start using my heal. Nothing, no reason to use anything else. Now, we, we do, it is called right now, be careful left, because they could gank. So I'm just going to preemptively med Medusa. Uh, just just so she knows what mana she has to play around with. It's when hard when you're not in comes with someone, see how much, like, how you want to play around something. So yeah, right now I have quite a bit of gold. I probably want to back here. Um, I think we're gonna stay for one more wave though, usually when the waves are like around here, you don't wanna back, you wanna push the wave hard and back, just make sure you don't miss anything of the next wave. Right here, you could have maybe even killed the Sol. Uh, although Xing Cheng was gonna come in, but if I got a pull on the Sol right there, her egg is just a bit down for a bit, uh, it will help us a lot. Right here, the fall is called out. Uh, I think Cyrus is gonna live in me, so that works out fine. Now for me, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my boost, get Talarias, get two uh, uh, wards, two normal wards every time you go out of normal bag. Now this is something risky I do. Getting reinforced creeps would be a lot better here uh, for survivability, but getting travelers is like always the 
the risk versus reward. Like if I don't die too much, if I get it off a lot, it's obviously better. But I can stay more safe. So I'm gonna go really ham on the center us here. Uh, no, now we're just gonna go ahead and invade the speed. We last four solo that we can probably just go ahead and do this. Um, not a lot they can do about this. Just get the speed buff. Um, go back mid right here, just make sure they can't go for gold here. And if you're kinda of worried that they'd go for gold here. They were a bit too low though, so go ahead and go for that, so we're just gonna push mid. So again, Telarius, I think we're so far ahead this game that we can just do something with it. I'm gonna try and get my passive now. I'm gonna recognize how to do the Xing Chang Dukes. And I think maybe I could have ulted the Xing Chang there for something. But this is really dumb. I actually don't get my ult off in time. I kinda haven't played against Xing Chang in a long time. Uh, Medusa does come in here though and saves me. Um, so that was really, 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 really bad. Uh, I was just trying to poke Xing Chang, being annoying. I did get punished for it though. Get the oracles again. We have the timer. Just go ahead and get that. It's pretty safe for us. Pretty good. Just get the neutral farm again. So, that was, that was bad that I was not expecting that coming out of the. What's his face? The Xing Chang. Like, I thought the, old was the wind up time was gonna be a bit longer. I uh, thought it was only gonna catch me in like the second or something. But I forgot that it just pinched me around. Again, late night. It was rough. I do survive though. Uh, but I should have died there. Sadly. Uh, not sadly, luckily. Sorry. My Medusa was around to save me. So you can see right here. Not a lot happening. Um, regarding build, right here you can see me go and call for this uh, back camp right here. I probably want to back right now and buy items. So if I remember correctly, I wanted to buy um, Gone of the Feeps and if I get that, like if I get the Feeps here, uh, no, nah, I'm actually gonna be a dirty boy and I'm gonna get Vanguard and Feeps 1 and no wards. Don't do this. You, I should not have gotten this. I should have gotten wards. I think the thought process behind doing this was that if I get more health, I can't die. And that's a bit better than getting wards because I'm so squishy by this. Uh, but yeah, Vanguard really good in this game. They have a Xing Chang, they have a 4, they have a, uh, a Sunner Rose, they have a lot of dot damage. Uh, I can avoid uh, Capraxian as well. So right now I'm just gonna still here. We could have maybe gotten hard, harder for Xing Chang, but a uh, bit rough. Maybe I try and go for a pull here. Uh, not even. So you can see how Xing Chang is kinda always backpedaling uh, when duking, so there's something we're gonna recognize and I think maybe even take advantage of later. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the gold for him, last and then for that speed up. And perk TB's in, pretty much just get it for free, they can't really do anything about it. Medusa ult comes out a tiny bit too late. Now this is done by going really hard behind here. Uh, think that we can maybe get a kill. Actually it's not even that dumb, sorry. I just got my Traveler's Boots on both of them, I'm really happy. We're gonna go for the speed and wait here, which is slightly risky though, because Hercules is not gonna be here, but the, the Kabrak is gonna be here. Now, this is gonna be a really unfortunate fight. Uh, so Sunros is almost gonna die. The sick thingy, he's just gonna get out, barely. Now this is so unfortunate, because my heal. Uh, I'm gonna pull in right there. Hoping that the Scylla was gonna hit something off that, but the Scylla actually did not recognize that. Right here, should have just ran. Um, I'm, I'm just hitting the Kabrakan for no reason whatsoever. Gonna go ahead, try and root the Kabrakan, I die. You can see how my heal is barely coming up right now. I just died. If I would have been able to get my heal off right there, that would have been a lot better. We could have killed all of them. Uh, just um, the best play by me hitting the Kabrakan in the face. You're not done that. We do end up getting. I killed here, I believe. No. Now, nah, Herc doesn't even get a kill. Uh, so that's really unfortunate. Now, I am gonna go ahead and get some wards. Actually, I um, didn't even buy. I was probably tapped out or something. So I get. That looked like I got tier 2 of God in the Thieves. I get one of each ward. So yeah. Just works out really well for us. Um, one second. There we go. Okay. So. Now. Nothing much is happening, sorry about that. We're just kinda chilling now, we have a decent lead, we have to play around that lead. I'm gonna go ahead and push in mid here. Uh, this is where I do something really, really stupid. So I see pretty Prime, and I realized that Prime uh, just used this Aegis, so I'm gonna miss the pull. Now, I'm gonna miss the heal as well, and when I miss the heal, I should realize this is not gonna be a kill. I'm gonna cancel dash, miss the one actually, if I would have the one, that would have been a kill. 
The Prime is almost gonna die. He's one health. I'm gonna get punched so hard. <laughs> For diving Prime. I think I was a bit too tired, a bit too excited about killing Mr. Prime, so I'm gonna get punched really hard for it. Something like that will happen one more time, I think. Wait, it's kind of the same situation. I'm just too greedy. Dragon, just me testing the limits, getting punished for it. So, I'm probably not gonna go ahead and do that in an SPL game. But that's just what you wanna do in rank. You wanna test your limits. Like, and then, it's like testing limits is the only thing that's gonna make you a better player. Like, sure, you can get really good at hitting abilities, but if you test your limits, like, that's just gonna make you so much better. Like, knowing exactly the amount of health you can survive with, knowing, like, your own limits is just. It's so important. Um, yeah. As you can see, I'm not on myself even, that was really bad. But nothing really happened. I, I couldn't afford my gauntlet of feeps, so I had a pretty back, uh, bad, uh, poor, poor, bad, back timing. Um, gonna go ahead, push in mid a bit. I'm gonna look for pull roots completely with the pull there. I don't know, the high sensitivity is really bad. I'm playing with 13 cents and like 1600 DPI, so I have like a really high sensitivity. It used to be way higher though. We're gonna go ahead and go here. Uh, ult to Xing Chang. Realized he just used his jump. I'm gonna go ahead and root him. Just heal up. He's gonna die uh, eventually from the heal. Uh, now this is uh, pretty bad. I'm gonna ult right here. I didn't see Simulity anything though. Now this is so unfortunate. I'm gonna uh, turn around and insta pull like a breaking pull, and I almost get out actually. But I just don't juke the the, the soul too. And I think I would have gone out if I would juke that. Although in the, in the mid lane, Conf is gonna be able to pick up a kill. Well played, Conf. So again. We got a kill, a one for one, that wasn't the best. I tried to juke out, doesn't work out. So this is rough for me right now, because I can't afford my uh, Gondola Feeps. I believe Golden Hand... Yeah, I actually, I'm so, I'm lying so much in this series. I could afford it, so that's gonna be good. So, you got the Feeps now, again, you wanna get Feeps. I've made a video on that, I can link to that down below. Oh, you can, guys, I'm not even gonna link, you guys can probably just find it on my channel. You just search for, like, Gauntlet of Feeps. There will be a link uh, below as well, but it's probably in recommended videos or something like that. So, you can check that out where I explain why Gauntlet of Feeps is so goddamn good right now and why you want to build it. This game is really good. Again, they have two physicals, two magicals, just an overall really good item. Uh, it's better as well for yourself um, in almost most scenarios than there's Feeps. I know then sub or uh, hardwood emulet um, is so just clear ward right here. We know gold freeze are gonna come up, so we wanna get some wards around that. Kind of shielding right now in the middle lane. Just gonna go ahead, push up the wave, go towards gold, maybe in uh, red buff. As the enemy team surrenders? Question mark. They might have. I don't know, man. So we're gonna go ahead and start up the gold theory, uh, realizing that four is on the right side of the map. They do respond to this really well. Uh, right here, I think we could have just done the gold theory. I'm gonna reset it though. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go on Cernodos, I think. Yeah. And he's gonna get ult out, so they're gonna keep doing gold theory right here, which is actually really good. Uh, he's gonna slide, or barely just get out. Just heal up here. We're getting gold theory all this time, so this is fine. Nemesis, I think, is gonna survive. So I'm, I think this is where I dive prime again. Gonna try and pull him through the wall. He's just doing right thing and not playing around it. And I'm playing really far back. So we're gonna get a gold fury. We just need to run now. Seeing Capraken is coming in. <laughs> gotta heal myself. Heal the Scylla. Just show you are not gonna be able to go in here. The others had to back regardless. Maybe I could heat the Medusa, but whatever. Take the purple buff. Not a lot happening. That's just really good on the gold that Medusa decided to stay on the gold. Shout out to you, Mr. Shiki Freaky. That was some good stuff. Try and pull the Xing Chang. Not gonna happen though, sadly. Uh, kinda I mad. Sorry, I did not get the creeps. It does not matter, Medusa. You are still my best friend. Or something. Uh, as there is a fight in mid, I'm gonna rotate in right here. Maybe I should realize that they had like a wall tier, so I'm kind of like, he knows I'm here looking for a pull, so he's not gonna hog the wall. I'll try and pull him. Not even gonna try and pull him. Hector's end up getting that. I'm just gonna root the, the Cinderos and he's gonna end up dying. Uh, now this right here is really rough, because I want Scylla to go to me, obviously, but I can't peel for the Scylla if she can't go to me. So, she's gonna actually end up dying. This is the other really stupid mistake we make. 
Oh, this is so dreadful. So Ford knows we're coming. Like here's Ford, so what is he has full control. I'm gonna start up missing the pull. Then I'm gonna miss my root. And if I would have hit that root, he could have died. He is one health. Uh, and I just get punished. The only good thing is I think it falls the Kabrakin CP. Yeah, Kabrakin CP then. So that's the only good thing about that. Nims just managed to get a tower. Cyhost managed to get a tower. So it's just rough. Really rough for us that we had to give that up. Uh, not a lot you can do about it though. Uh, again, just a bad play. Me testing the limits, trying to make some cool plays. Not not gonna happen this time around though. So we're gonna go ahead and get Sovereignty 2. Uh, Sovereignty just because it is the physicals right now. I'm scared of doing the most damage. I'm not really scared of Shintang, not really scared of the Sol, not really scared of the Kabrakin. They are the ones that are behind in this game. Although Sol, Sol is highest level, uh, nothing really happens. As you see Medusa, uh, should be one in here actually. Nice. I remember watching this. That's good. Uh, so we're gonna come in to the mid lane now. Obviously getting two wards, every back. Remember, remember, remember. Our goal right now is probably just to get the mid tower. We can look for portal demon. We wanna fight around the Medusa though. Uh, we hear that false old thing. We're gonna root pull him uh, and he's just gonna go ahead and die. So that's just me recognizing that Fork can't really react with a hammer. So that's just sort of something you wanna do sometimes. It's root pull, boom. And it works so well with Scylla as well, because she can just root off it. Good uh, thing, Scylla recognized she could ult that as well, and he's just gonna die. dying. Not expecting to die in such a situation at all. I didn't even use my ult. So right here, I'm, I really want to get the, the mid tower, but he's gonna get the, the ward. And, which I guess is fine. Uh, go for Generous. He should maybe die right here. I'm gonna miss my pull though. I missed a lot of pulls this game. Wasn't the best Savannah's pull game ever. It kinda swings a bit. How good you are with the pulls, but this was not my best game ever with the pulls. We had one really good pull this far. Uh, two really good pulls actually. The one on Kebrakin where I just turned around was really good as well. Um, so we're gonna push down mid, just take out the tower, finally get something, get an objective right now. Kind of a snowball game. I'm the one getting punished in my team uh, for making really poor decisions twice. I should have died. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start up the pole demon. Now, they can't really contest this because only Capracken is here, so they're just gonna go ahead and give it up, realizing that not to go for this at all. I'm gonna look for Cernoros here. I think he's just gonna dash out though. Nah, he's gonna take the award. Missed the pull again. Just walking the different direction than a body would. Uh, again, clear out the wave, just make sure you stay safe. I probably wanna back right here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and back soon. Yep. Uh, this is because I can see I have a lot of gold and I want to finish my sovereignty. I want to get the wards. You guys can see that. I want to get my second relic. I'm level 12 as well. I'm actually going to opt for shield this game. Looking back, I probably should have gotten blink uh, for more initiation. But uh, yeah, whatever. I'm going to end up saving Sirehouse here with the meth. Just pure pressure. Surrender what comes out. I don't think they're too happy about that. Um, so we're just going to go mid right here. Gonk, missed the root. I missed a lot of abilities to the map. I'm gonna ult right here. Uh, almost pull the Cernoros into the Scylla ult. Sadly, we don't hit it. Uh, just miss it. Use the shell right here. I realized they're gonna use a lot of shit on me right here. Uh, just root Cernoros. Duke back into the fall. That's kinda rough. Uh, I end up dying, but we get a really favorable trade for it. They're gonna die as well. And today I'm just gonna be able to go ahead and push down the mid tower. Uh, no, Medusa does go for gold right here. The call was to go with tower, so it's kind of meh. Because she's not even going to be able to hit the tower. She's going to contest the red buff. Is she going to get it? No, she's not even going to get it. But hey, we're going to get gold free off this. So that's fine. I traded myself. Like, you, you want to trade yourself like that if you can. Um, and my team got two kills off it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and... I should have some items for this, right? Yeah, I'm going to have, like, some gold. I'm probably just going to go ahead and start my magical defense. Oh, uh, yeah, probably should what I should do. Oh my god, that was such a bad call for you. So you guys can see how I'm like waiting. 120 gold, get my D ward, and again, zero gold out of base. So, so glad they got that gold for you. Helps me get the perfect back timings. So you can see, got hard ward 2 right here. Just getting some prods against the magical, so they're starting to hurt a tiny bit now. Um, also just for my team. Since the guardians don't really have a lot of pen, it like works out so well with getting prods. For your for your team, so I'm I'm just I'm dealing so many uh, like when you're around me and you're getting Savannah's heal right now, you're gonna have so many protections. Uh, the heal gives how much is it? It's like 35. 
I have 30 protections, I have 50 aura when I get my heart water amulet, so I have 80 protections when you're healed, which is kind of insane, I could even get a Lotus Crown somewhere, but I don't think I will do that though, honestly don't think Lotus Crown is the best item, not even on Savannah's, it's, it's only effective when you're healing, and then you need some cooldown reduction, but you don't really can't really fit that in with Lotus Crown, so it, it's rough. Um, Whereas at Phoebs is like 20 protections all the time, so Phoebs is always going to be better than Lotus Crown. The Sunrise is really low right here. This is a miscommunication, I think, right here. Because I pull the Sunrise, and then I'm actually going to ult him. And then Scylla is going to predict his movement, and we're not really going to end up killing him. Uh, I think I'm dead. Nah, I'm not sure if I end up dying here. I can't remember. Now I'm going to live. They get kills and right though. So we're just sp splitting the map really hard right now. Uh, wait, no, oh, we died. Yeah, we split the hard map way too hard. We did not get the kill in mid. We did get uh, two towers. But again, we're just giving him combat potential. Just pull the Zenros in. He's gonna die to the Scylla. That's one of the two pulls we did hit. Gonna mid up here. Just trying to shell the solo. Cannot back out. The solo does a lot of damage right now. Looking to maybe reinitiate this, but nah, there's no reason to. We're pretty low. Just back out. Um, yeah. So we're just chilling. Not a lot happening. Gonna go ahead and go for the pebble buff. Go ahead and grab that. Kapow, kapow, kapow. And I have 900 gold right now, so I need like this red buff, or a small camp or something, to go ahead and uh, be able to afford this in short. I'm like, okay, guys, you don't wanna. You don't want to hold that for me, I'm not gonna get a tension ward. I might even wait for it. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Just gonna get my hard ward. Uh, just get a no another normal ward. So again, being a bad boy with my wards, uh, definitely should have gone for the back camps or something and gotten a tension ward. Uh, yeah. So right now, we're just gonna, we have such a big lead, we should just get fire giant and just push something down and hope for them to surrender soon. Uh, when you're so far hit, you just want to make sure that your team stays disciplined and your team doesn't start doing stupid solo plays or like egoistic plays because that's kind of what does the game. So we're just going to go ahead and wait the speed buff. Don't think we're going to steal the decks are going to secure it, but we're going to get a really good fight off this. Pull the Kabrakan out of his uh, root. Get a good ult right here. And uh, barely avoid the fall, then the kind of rooting and just slowly punching it. Falls out. We're going to go ahead and throw the Kabrakan here. Then we're just gonna go really hard in mid, try and kill the us, heal up my whole team. So right here, the, the obvious call to, to do is is to just go straight for um, go straight for fire giant. But we have time, like we have time enough right now to go ahead and do uh, do the mid phoenix, and then we can go fire giant. We have a savannah seal, so that is gonna work out really well for us. You guys can just see massive, massive healing coming out from that savannah. What, what a beast! Uh, they can't really contest this. We know for all it. We know salt all it. Uh, all secure is really good. We have Scylla, so we're just gonna go ahead and go for the real fire giant. Um, yeah, again, it bursts down really, really fast. We have meditation as well. Maybe I shouldn't use my bed, just gonna use to stay safe. I almost pulled the four there, that was really close. But then again, we got fire. So what do you wanna do when after getting fire? If portal demons up, you probably wanna get that. And then like just four men back, five men back. But then again, of course, the jungler is always gonna go for a speed buff. Um I'm gonna go ahead and sell my watches gift, probably splat spirit rope, as always, get my sentry ward, and again get a really good back timing here with the 13 gold. Just everything playing playing out so perfectly well this game. Uh, according to uh, according to like items and shit, that is going really well. So just pushing down the tower right here. Nemesis is farming the back camp because she's waiting for gold for her item, but she's not realizing we get uh, a tower. Sirehost is making some dumb plays. So again, my role right here is gonna be to mainly peel the back line because I opted to go for that shell. Uh, blink would have been really good here as well. Uh, we have a lot of wombo combo uh, with the, with the blink, but uh, yeah, we're just waiting for Sirehost. You see how I'm just pinging out, try and pull the Xing Chang, he specs out though. Turk does take some poke, but the nemesis is around here now, so you can probably try and fight this. They're gonna go really ham, I'm gonna root the Cerneros. Just completely zoning the back line here, you guys can see. Get my shell off before we get flown in here. Uh, I'm just gonna start hitting Kabrakin. Uh, decent still hold on Kabrakin, there's nothing else for us to hit. Miss the, the root, uh, the pull, root on the root. That was a really bad misplay, I should not, never use your one on the Kabrakin when seen that. See the fold, call it out. Play up though. Shing is 
Oh, that's a really good dunk. And we're gonna end up killing them anyway, actually. And Ching Chang is gonna die. Trying to get a pull through the wall, can't do that. We can probably end this and recognize that as well. Heal up a bit and then try and get in front of the uh, Kabrakan. Body block him a bit. And he's gonna die. Ball is gonna die. And then Sol is gonna get Fountain Dive, I believe. No, not even. So it's gonna be that game. Um, so, yeah. I think she said. So that was uh, the third episode of In Hindsight Ranked Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this. A really sloppy game. Uh, a lot of mistakes again. Some good plays, some really bad plays. Some focus to stream a place. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let's check wards and healing and that stuff. All the, all the funny stats. See if we won this game in wards. Don't think we did though. We did slack a bit on wards this game. No, we should the most wards. See, we're at zero wards. Zero wards, a one ward. That is not good. 13 wards, topping the charts. That's why we won that game. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and leave a subscription. And I also do want to point out before starting this off that I will eventually also like upload games where, where I lose. But it's just that I was so lucky that while recording these, I, I did not lose a game. Like, I think you guys can see it here. Um, when I recorded for it, I just got three wins. But if it's a loss, I'll obviously upload that as well. Because you can learn a lot more from your losses than from your wins. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the fourth episode of In Hindsight Ranked Edition. Peace out.